What do you need to know about leveling students' reading abilities? And what are the problems with this long-standing practice? That's coming up in this video. Hi everyone, I'm Lee Hall from Literacy Teachers and I'm all about giving you the tools you need to inspire, motivate, and change how your students read and write for academic success. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you get notifications because I put out new videos each week. So today's question is, what is a Lexile level and are Lexile levels important? Now, you might have heard of these before if you are a middle and high school teacher, um, but most middle and high school teachers don't use Lexile levels. It tends to be more of an elementary thing. However, Lexile levels is something, it's an important issue for um, all teachers um, K-12, and even if your, your district doesn't use Lexile levels for middle and high school, I still encourage you to watch this video because as you're gonna see, the experiences that students have with these at the elementary level is quite interesting and it really does shape how they engage with text um, when they're adolescents. So let's go to the first part of this question. What is a Lexile level? And I'm just gonna quote Metametrics. Um, Lexile level is a trademarked, um, it's trademarked by the company Metametrics. You can Google Metametrics and find out more about it. Um, and I'm gonna give you a direct quote from the Metametrics site in terms of how they define the Lexile, okay? They define it as such. The Lexile framework for reading is a scientific approach to measuring both reading ability and text complexity of reading materials on the same developmental scale. So the idea is that readers get a score, okay, a Lexile score, and um, texts get a Lexile score, and then you match reader to text, okay? And Metametrics says that the sweet spot, the their term, not mine, for reading is 100 Lexile levels below a student's reading, a student's Lexile level to 50 Lexile levels, like 50 Lexiles above. So for example, if a student had an, measured um, at an 800 Lexile level, the Metametrics would say with this approach that a book that ranges from 700 Lexile to 850 Lexile would be appropriate, right? And so what, what Metametrics is trying to help you do as a teacher is find texts for kids that are not too easy, but not, not too difficult, but that they can comprehend, but that also are going to be appropriately challenging, all right? Now, interestingly enough, there is not a special Lexile test, right? So how do we know what's a student's Lexile level, right, if you wanted to find out? There's not a special Lexile test. Test What Metametrics does is they work with test publishers to design assessments that give Lexile scores. The idea then is that you take that Lexile level score as a teacher, right, and match students to a text. Texts are already um, leveled by Metametrics. So um, in a, you know, in a public school setting, at least at the elementary level, oftentimes a librarian will know the Lexile levels, will have a, a, a book or can pull that information up for you on the computer, or they may have the Lexile level labeled on the spine, okay? Um, so public libraries are not gonna, they, they don't have this information. So typically public librarians don't buy into the Lexile levels approach. So if you were to go to a public library and ask what Lexile level is this book on, or this is my kid and, and he reads at a 800 Lexile level, what are some good books for him? The librarian's not gonna match kid to text that way. They don't, they don't do that. This is a framework that's predominantly used in the public school system. Now, if you had a question about a book, um, if you weren't sure what the level was, Metametrics, again, has all this and a freely available database on their site. And you can go in, type in the name of the book, and it'll give you the Lexile level, all right? Now, the question, that's what is a Lexile level. The, the next part of this is, are these levels important? Well, I will tell you that they are extremely contested and the idea of using levels in this way and implementing them in a very rigid manner is extremely contested. And um, I'm gonna have, I have a card popping up just now for a video that I did called What is a Complex Text? How Algorithms Influence What and How Students Read. Um, because that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about algorithms that measure kids and algorithms that measure books and how that shapes what kids, what kinds of text kids do and do not get access to. So I encourage you to watch that video as well because that will that will get at some of the deeper, uh, more contested issues around Lexile levels. I talk about that. I talk about metametrics specifically in that video. Um, the thing to know in, um, is if you're a middle and high school teacher, these Lexile levels, actually even if you don't use them they are important to you in a very different sense in a very specialized sense and this is the way that i've seen them play out 
for like 20 years now, okay? Um, what happens is students come in in kindergarten, first grade, they get marked as being a particular kind of reader, all right? They get their Lexile level. And those Lexile levels, they know, right? I'm a good reader, I'm a poor reader, I'm an average reader. Um, they have access to some text, maybe not access to others that they would like. Um, and that sends particular messages to kids about who they are as readers and what they're capable of as readers. And um, it doesn't matter how we as adults might be seeing it. We as adults could totally buy into, and I'm not saying I buy into this, but we as adults could totally buy into the metametrics framework of it's a scientific approach to matching kids with text and there's nothing wrong with it, but kids don't see it that way, okay? Um, it's a real social status for kids, right? What Lexile level are you, okay? And if you're always at the low end of the spectrum, you know that it sticks with you. By the time you get to middle school, by the time you get to just sixth grade, these kids that have gone up through the system that have been repeatedly told you're a, a poor reader or you're an okay reader or you're a great reader, that has played into their understandings about who they are, what they're capable of being, um, what they're capable of contributing, if they should even bother to read the books that you're assigning or not. So a kid with a low Lexile level that's repeatedly been told, sent this message that you're not a strong reader, is not going to show up in your science class in eighth grade and think that it is worth their time to read the books that you're assigning them because they're going to think, I've been told for 14 years now that I'm not a good reader. This is a hard book and I'm not a good reader. I'm not gonna get it. It's not an issue of if they want to understand. It's not an issue of if they want to learn. It's not an issue of if they want to be a better reader because every single adolescent that I've talked to that falls into this category says, absolutely, I wanna learn, be a better reader, get better grades, improve my comprehension. But I've been told since day one that that's not me. So I'm accepting who I am and going forward with that. So then as a middle school teacher, you have to, or a high school teacher, you have to start to undo this. So it's very important to know um, how these Lexile levels or any form of labeling and leveling students and matching them with text and giving access to some and denying others, um, that it, it's important to know that it really influences how they behave with text and what they think they can do as they transition into middle and high school. So when you see some difficulties, some resistance, a lot of times that's where it's coming from. It's coming from these histories of being labeled and leveled in particular ways and sort of giving up on themselves. All right, so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all of my videos. While you're at it, head down to the comments. Let's talk. Let's talk about Lexile levels. Let's talk about labeling students. Let's talk about leveling students. Let's talk about how in these practices, you know, what are your experiences with them? Do you find them to be good? Do you find them to be helpful? Do you find them to be harmful to students? What are some better alternatives? Let's go down and talk about it. And I look forward to hearing from you.